All right, we're going to take some measurements with the edge connector, Monotex edge connector. So I just have it on volts and put this on ground so you'll see pin 7 has 12 volts on it. Uh, the horizontal sink, 0.29, so 0.3 volts. To, it could go all the way up to 0 0.4 or up to 4 volts. And the vertical sink is really low. Uh, but it can go all the way up to uh, 4 volts as well. Um, and then the video depends on the, how much content is on the screen. So this one, 0.7. Um, I'll see if I can hold it here. I'm going to just change the image on my video generator. And you'll see the voltage does change. So there's another image, another image. So depending on the, the content of your that's on there, the, your voltage will change. So this is one with that doesn't have a lot of content, so it's 0 0.04, where this one has a, a full screen that's at 0.3, or 1.3. And uh, we're going to switch this meter over to hertz. So press this button, it goes from volts to hertz. It's on the DC voltage. And we're going to measure right here. So you see it measures 15.7 kilohertz. So you notice that there's a little K right there. Um, now I go over to the vertical sink, 60 hertz. It, this is usually between 50 to 60 hertz. And these two have to be there for it to work. Uh, the video, I'll just measure the video here. It, it could be, it doesn't measure very well. <clears throat> it depends on the content and um, it's in the high, higher frequencies, it's not low frequency, but you just have something there and you can see that it's fl fluctuating a little bit. Um, and so the jumper setting here is set for non-inverting, so it actually doesn't even need power in this case. Um, and so right now the video comes, it goes from pin 8 through the jumper straight to pin two. Um, if we wanted to invert the video, we would need to apply power. Power can be applied from the edge connector or through here. And the jumper setting is, is just like that. Now it's gonna be inverted video with the 12 volts pl plugged into it. But uh, for the majority of the applications, the jumper setting should be on here and the video goes straight through to pin 2.